Police and young people are preparing in England for their annual struggle over celebrating summer solstice at the ancient monument Stonehenge. CNN's Richard Blystone reports the festival has been banned, for, but something keeps drawing people back. There are many theories why Stonehenge was built 4,000 years ago, but none of them has it as a fortress. The wire went up to protect the stones from modern tourists and vandals. But though it's peaceful now, this weekend the area will be swarming with police and with traveling hippies, each claiming the other has no respect for the place. Stonehenge has been central to the faith in Britain for hundreds of thousands of years. We haven't all turned Christian in this country. We haven't stamped out the original faith. In a forest 10 miles from Stonehenge, 200 hippies from all over Britain, shadowed by police, wait to be moved on once again as they try to link up with thousands of others converging on the monument. They come because they think there's something special about the stones on the first dawn of summer, when in the middle of this arch, the sun will show itself perfectly, just the way the ancients planned it. You stand between them, and you can feel all the power go through, and you go, yeah. Up to 1984, they welcomed summer with festivals around Stonehenge, hundreds of thousands of people with everything authorities frown on. But locals complained of noise and damage. The festival was banned, and since then, it's been an annual struggle between police and counterculture as the annual migration persists. Many of these hippies weren't even born in the days of Haight-Ashbury, but there's a sense of social history repeating itself. By living like this in India, you're treated like something special. You're treated holy, because well, the vibration that we carry is, 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 is different, you know, it's for peace, you know. I am going to the stones on the solstice. I will be in the inner circle of the stones on the 21st of June at sunrise. He'll need some mystical means of getting there. This is a long way from Woodstock. Richard Blystone, CNN, Wiltshire, England.